Insanity is insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again. Expected shit to change. That is crazy. Which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear. What was that? Back to verse one, huh? God, this is Acts chapter 15, verse 1. In certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, ye cannot be saved. See, that, that's what they were doing. They was trying to uh, uh, get the disciples under their yoke. You know, you can try to go every way around it. You tempting the Lord, man. God. That was the yoke that they were trying to put on them, man. He said, look, we ain't give y'all that commandment to do so. All right? That's why you got to understand, see, even though they said that, you still had men trying to go back behind Paul and Peter and say differently. That's why we had to go to Philippians one more time. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the concision. Because even though they said, look, he ain't got to do that. They, they could come into the covenant without being circumcised after the manner of Moses. You see, they had a problem with that and they were still saying, no, nah, no, nah, you got to. And that's what caused the division between what the disciples were saying and what men of the concision and circumcision was doing. All right. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashim, Rock, All right. Go on to the Holy Spirit, which is revealing all things. All right. And, um, uh, Man, um, this is a always tricky thing to deal with, and I believe it's pretty much one of these subjects better yet, better off not preach, mainly because it misleads the flock, right? And some things, even if you write, there's no point in bringing them out, right? I know brothers, you know, get offended at certain other things that um, GMS bring up because, you know, they feel it it's not a lie, it's not wrong, but it, it gives no benefit to the congregation, all right? And that is the same thing with this, um, you know, if, if you don't use your words very carefully, there's no benefit to the congregation for thinking, making Jake think that they can be completely lawless, all right? Now, you are not abundant the law. That is 100% true. You can't be saved by the law. That is 100% true. And you can't be condemned by the law. That is 100% true. But yet, you still are supposed to keep the things that are in the law. You're supposed to keep the law still. And I know that's confusing, brothers, all right? And this is why I put the um, definition of insanity clips. I attached it to this video because we have been doing this without the law since we've been in Babylon the Great, all right? Um, the plantation Christian entity got the spirit, got the heart, but they don't have the understanding. All right, and then you got, um, I'm going to say, these um, Hebrew camps got the law, got the understanding, but don't have the spirit. All right, now, what we are at is that we are in the point of merging the understanding to the spirit, all right? That is the purpose of what we are supposed to be doing as ministers of the new covenant. We merging everything together. Now, I want to um, do this um, all right, in the apostles, Acts chapter 15. I'm going to just start at 6. Go over what they went in. And the apostles and the elders came together and considered this matter. And when there had been much discussion, Peter rose up and said unto them, Man and brethren, you know how you know how that a good while ago Yahweh made a choice among us 
that the Gentiles by mouth should hear the word of the gospel and believe. And Yahweh, which knew the knew the hearts, bear the witness, giving them the Holy Ghost, even as he did unto us, and put no difference between us and them in purifying their hearts by faith. All right. Now, therefore, why tempt Yahweh to put a yoke upon the necks of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear? But we believe that through the grace of of the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, we will be saved, even as day. And what this was saying, that the circumcision has nothing to do with you being saved. It's all through the faith and belief in Yahweh Shah. All right, now, then all the multitude kept silence and gave audience to Barnabas and the Paul, declaring the miracles and wonders Yahweh had rough among the Gentiles by them. All right, now, and after that, they held their peace. And, and James also saying, men and brethren, hearken unto me. Simon had declared how Yahweh at first did visit the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. And to this agree the word of the prophets as it is written. And just to reiterate right now, the word Gentiles really should be Hellenists, all right? Because we're talking about the Jews that were Hellenized, all right? And, and to this agree the words of the prophets as it was written. In this, I will return and we will build again the tabernacle of David, which is Father now. And I will build again the ruins thereof. And I will set it up. That the residue of men might seek after the Lord, and all the Gentiles upon my name is called, said the Lord, who does all things, all these things. Know unto Yahweh are all his works from the beginning of the world. Wherefore, my, my sentence is, that we trouble not them, which from among the Gentiles are turned to Yahweh. All right. And what it was getting into, they didn't want to put these things on them. For starters, they were Gentiles, which means they weren't living in Israel. They were still living the months, you know, wherever they were from, the Greeks, the Romans, you know, whoever they was among. And it would have been a struggle for them to uh, do these things. So they weren't going to put no bur burden or no yoke or iron on Now, we know from experience that now everyone gets circumcised, even people who don't believe, because it is more of a healthy thing, you know, to be circumcised. All right? Now, it went on, he went on to say, but we write unto them that they abstain from pollution of idols, from fornication, and from things that strangled in from blood, all right, all right, so, for Moses of old time had in every city them that preached him being read in the synagogues every Sabbath day, all right, so, so that was what it was, they didn't want to put burdens on the Gentiles that was going to be too difficult for them to do, all right, and, um, one thing, you know, that goes into, that would be similar to the fringes we were today, all right? You don't want to put burdens on um, Israel that is going to be too difficult for Israelites or for your average Israelite to accomplish. And now, like I say, one of the reasons these camps push fringes so well is they just want to sell you a fringe t-shirt, you know? They're trying to make merchandise of the Lord, all right? Now, I just want, I also want to do um go over to my bag. I should stay the next um the sixteenth chapter, and I'm just gonna point something out right quick. And this happened after they had the council. All right, all right. All right. Well, it was reported by all the brethren with, not even, okay, third verse. Him 
would Paul ha have to go forth with him and took and circumcised him because of the Jews were in these quarters, for they knew all that his father was a Greek. All right, so Timothy got circumcised. You know, that was even after, you know, everything was said. And why would they circumcise him? You know, after the council, after everything was said, because, you know, it was still the right thing to do, you know. But if you couldn't get it done, you know, you know they weren't going to put that burden on just regular people. Uh, and then, of course, the circumcision does not save you. It don't condemn you, all right? Because it's all through faith and belief in Yahweh Shadda. All right? It wasn't that we weren't supposed to do these things, all right? Because you got to be very clear with Jake, or else you'll see, like, Jake eating a pork dinner for Christmas and Thanksgiving, like we've been seeing the brothers do. Uh, you tell them that they can be lawless, or you ain't clear that they need to be trying to do these things to the best of their ability, you know, Jake ain't going to get it. And, you know, like my shot say, hey, um, only a two-third <laughs> will will fight against, you know, trying to do these things anyway, you know, or won't, wouldn't want to do the majority of the things that are written in the law, all right? This was just to keep the law from being a burden, not to be lawless, all right? And this is Matthew, the 23rd chapter. And I'm going to start at the second seat. Second verse. Saying the scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. How therefore what, what soever they did you observe, that observe and do. But do ye not ye after their works, for they say and do not. So pretty much. What Yahweh Shah was telling them, do what the scribes and Pharisees say do, but don't be like them, all right? Pretty much, you know, what they're telling you to do is the correct thing. Keeping the laws is the correct thing, all right? So, and like the brother said, you know, he going to go with um, Paul and um, Peter because that's what they said. And, you know, we also got to go with Yahweh Shah, <laughs> why? Because... He is Lord to Paul and Peter. And in this verse, he was telling us, you know, to try to do these things, but don't be like them. To try to keep the law, but don't be like them. These scriptures was just telling us we are not up under the curse of the law. We are not bound to the law, which means that you got your grace. All right? You got your liberty. All right? So the things that you cannot do, or the things that you might fall short on, through your faith and belief in your house, shot, you got grace and liberty. But we are still to try to keep as many of the laws as we can. The laws that were done away with was the laws of sacrifice in the priesthood. And that's because your house became the priesthood. So any laws that contain to the priesthood don't um uh are not used. And you know, it's certain priesthood laws that Brother still try to hang on to like the uh, what's that the I believe the rounding of the corners of your head. I believe that was the priesthood law. That is one of the laws you ain't gotta do no more because there is no priesthood no more. Because we in my chest that your house shot the priesthood. Alright? And sacrifice no more because your house shot was the ultimate sacrifice. All that part was fulfilled to the fullest. Well the law was fulfilled. But all that part is it. But everything else in the law is to your benefit, which is why it says in, uh, you know what? Let me get, pull up my uh, other Bible. All right. It's um, to your benefit, and I'm going to get Baruch chapter 4 and I uh, just start at the top this is the book the book of the commandments of Yahweh and the law that endure forever how they keep it should come to life but such as leave it should die turn to old Jacob and take hold of it 
Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mightst be illuminated. Give not thy honor to another. These are things that are profitable unto a strange nation. All right, so pretty much these are were given for us. O Israel, happy are we for the things that are pleasing to Yahweh are made known to us. And how they made known, they are made known in these laws. All right, now we're going to go over to... Um, um, Malachi 3, 6. All right. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So the things that were pleasing to the Lord are the things that are pleasing to the Lord. Back then are the things that are pleasing to the Lord. Now, all right, and you get Joshua. Yeah, well, I want Josh. I'm not bad. I want Joshua one eight. Now this book of the law should not depart out thy mouth, but thou should meditate therein day and night, that thou might observe to do do according to all that is written therein. For then, for then thou should make thy ways prophecies and. Thou should have good success. All right, so pretty much when you keep the law, and that includes the Mosaic law, and like I said, the priesthood and sacrifice is done away with. But the rest of the law, if you keep that law, you know, it's going to say, for then thou should make thy ways prophecies, and thou should have good success. All right, you know, that is um, what leads to success. Like I say, people... Worldly people get circumcised now because it's, it's a health benefit. You catch this diseases and you're carrying this germs and you're just all around cleaner when you circumcise. So they do that. And like the most important circumcision, of course, is the circumcision of the heart. All right. But, you know, it was still a benefit to doing it. And everything that's written in the Mosaic Law, there's a benefit <laughs> to you for keeping it. All right. And that's why we always say, you know, keep as much of it as you can keep, right? Because the things in it are the things that are meant for us to do. Now, he made a comment about, you know, a father and uh, the son. And I'm going to tell you, the, um, as uh, a father to my kids, you know, the thing that always makes a father the proudest is when your children do what they were supposed to do or what you want them to do without you telling them, all right? That right there is just completely, you know, what they say, warms the father's heart. It makes you feel good, all right, to see your children doing the right thing without being told. See, we've been released from the law, all right? So pretty much, you know, we we – got liberty, we got um, grace, we released from the law. Now, it's time for us, as his servants, to do the right things, which are the things that are written in both the Old and New Testament, without being told, all right? Now, I think I'm going to end this one with... Romans 9. All right, Romans 9. All right, 3 through 5. For I could wish that myself were a curse from a Mashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. All right, so you know this law was given to Israel, who are Israelites, to whom pertains the adoption. All right, in the glory, in the covenants. In the giving of the law, in the service of Yahweh, in the promises. All right, so it's like everything was given to Israel. All right, it said the covenants, the glory, the adoption, all right, the promises. Whose are the fathers? Who else are the fathers in whom, as concerning the flesh, 
Amashiach Cain, who is over all Yahweh bless forever. Amen. So, you know, this law was given to us, and it's a beneficial benefit for us to keep it, all right, even though we are not abundant. And um, the Lord, even pretty much, like I was saying, um, is letting us know that the new moon is how you keep the high holy days, because he's actually marking the start of the year with a lunar eclipse on March 25th. And then he's marking two weeks later the Passover on April 8th with a solar eclipse this year. So that's letting us know, you know, that keeping the feast days, you know, in the law is something that is very pleasing to you out. All right. And like I say, um, a good servant or even good children seek to do the things that please their father. Why being told? And with that, I'm going to say, Shalom. The definition of insanity is doing the same exact thing over and over and expecting a different result. Look at me. We've been doing the same thing for two years. It ain't working. Time for something completely different.